This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on redemption of redemption of preference shares. This concept is asked to the students of IPCC in Group Two under the chapter of redemption of debentures. I wish to solve one sum here before you. Just observe the sum on the screen, which I intend to solve. See inter number nineteen ninety nine. The balance sheet of X Y Z Limited as at thirty first of December two thousand sixteen inter ILA includes the following: fifty thousand eight percent preference shares of rupees hundred is rupees seventy per share paid up thirty five lakhs. So preference shares are partly paid up. One lakh equity shares of rupees hundred is hundred lakhs. Security premium five lakhs. Capital redemption is of twenty lakhs. General is of fifty lakhs. Under the terms of issue, the preference shares are redeemable on thirty first of March two thousand seventeen at a premium of five percent. So preference shares are redeemable. Remember, partly paid up preference shares can never be redeemed. You are required to make these preference shares fully paid up. Before you proceed with redemption, in order to finance a redemption, company makes a right issue of fifty thousand equity shares of rupees hundred each at rupees twenty, being payable on application thirty five on allotment and balance on June first two thousand seventeen. So, redemption is to be made on thirty first of March two thousand seventeen. The issue was fully subscribed and allotment was made on first of March two thousand seventeen. So preference share redemption is to be made on thirty first of March. The amount on issue of equity shares up to allotment are received before thirty first of March because the allotment was made on first of March. So it is presumed that the amount up to allotment is being received before thirty first of March. So whatever the share capital that has been received before the redemption of Preference shares is available. Is available for the purpose of determining the amount to be transferred to capital redemption reserve, and if the amount of share capital is received after thirty first of March two thousand seventeen, that is the case in case of balance due on June first two thousand seventeen. So capital received up to allotment is available. For the purpose of finding out the amount to be transferred to capital redemption reserve, the capital received after the redemption of preference share is not considered for the purpose of determining the amount of capital redemption reserve. That's an important point. The preference shares were redeemed after fulfilling the necessary condition under Section 55 of the Companies Act 2013. When this question was asked, the old company law was in force. So that was under Section 80 of the Companies Act. Now it is under Section 55 of the Companies Act. So under Section 55 of the Companies Act, only fully paid up preference shares could be redeemed. That's an important point to be noticed by the students. You are also asked to pass the necessary journal entries to show the relevant extracts from the balance sheet as on 31st of March 2017 with the corresponding figures of 31st of March 2016. This is a very important point that I will bring to your notice while solving the sum. Now the most important point why I have why have I taken this sum right now, because as under section 55 of the Companies Act there is one difference so far as the preference share redemption premium is to be written out, and I wanted to bring to your notice the provisions of recent company law, the provisions of the Companies Act 2013 about writing off of preference share redemption premium. So. Here the preference shares are redeemed at a premium of five percent. So five percent redemption premium is to be written off against what? As per the old company law, it can be written off against security premium or even profit and loss account. But in this under section fifty five of the Companies Act, the provisions has been changed. Just observe them first of all. Premium and redemption of preference shares. For the companies whose financial statement comply with the comply with the accounting standards as prescribed under Section 133, the premium payable on redemption shall be provided out of the profits of the company 
बिफोर द शेयर्स आर रिडेम बिफोर द शेयर्स आर रिडीम सो प्रेफरेंस शेयर रिडेमशन प्रीमियम इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी रिटर्न ऑफ ओनली अगेंस्ट प्रॉफिट एंड ओनली अगेंस्ट प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट इट शुड नॉट बी रिटर्न ऑफ अगेंस्ट सिक्योरिटी प्रीमियम इफ द प्रेफरेंस शेयर आर इश्यू आफ्टर द कमेंसमेंट ऑफ दिस एक्ट एंड सेकंड द कंपनी हुज फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट कॉम्प्लाई विद द अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड प्रिस्क्राइब अंडर सेक्शन वन थर्टी थ्री इफ दिस टू कंडीशन आर सेटिस्फाइड वन कॉम्प्लायस ऑफ अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड अंडर सेक्शन वन थर्टी थ्री इज रिक्वायर्ड वन कंडीशन एंड द प्रेफरेंस शेयर आर इश्यूड आफ्टर द कमेंसमेंट ऑफ दिस एक्ट इफ दिस टू कंडीशन आर सेटिस्फाइड देन प्रेफरेंस शेयर रिडेमशन प्रीमियम should be return of against profit and loss account or against the profit otherwise available for dividend next for redemption of any for redemption of any preference shares issued on or before the commencement of section commencement of 2013 the premium payable on the redemption shall be provided out of the profits of the company or out of the company security premium account before such shares are redeemed so if the shares have been issued prior to the commencement of the act and if these shares are ready then the preference share redemption premium can be adjusted can be set up, set off against profit and loss account or it can be set off against security premium this is an important point to be noticed by the student third important point for the companies whose financial statement need not comply with the accounting standards prescribed under section 133 the premium payable on redemption of shares provide redemption shall be provided out of the profits of the company or out of the company security premium account before such shares are redeemed so if the compliance of accounting standard is not required under section 133 then the preference share redemption premium could be return of either against profit and loss account or against security premium also so these are the important observation this i have presented here before you from the study material of cs students so just it is important for you to know that's why i have taken up this sum and demonstrated these things now let me start with the sum this is the details of the sum i am required to write down the journal entries in the books of xyz company the preference shares are partly paid up under the terms of the issue the preference shares are redeemable on 31st of but 2017 at a premium of 5% only fully paid up preference shares can be redeemed so last call on preference shares should be made so preference share last call account debit 50000 into share of 100 is 70 per share paid up so 100 minus 70 30 so 50000 into 30 preference share last call account debit 2 Preference share capital account credit being the final call made on fifty thousand preference shares at a rate of rupees thirty per share to make them fully paid. Now the last call is received bank account debit to preference share final call account credit being the final call amount received. This is how the preference shares are made fully paid up. Now these preference shares are not of thirty five lakhs; they are fully paid up. So observe thirty five lakhs will become fifty lakhs. that's an important point to be noticed by the students now for the purpose of redemption equity shares are issued amount received with application 20 number of shares issued are 50000 amount received per share with application 20 so 50000 into 20 bank account debit equity share application account credit equity share application account debit to share capital account credit now the shares allot allotted and rupees 35 including 10 rupees premium is recoverable with allotment so equity share allotment account debit 50000 into 35 to equity share capital and equity share premium account credit equity share capital account is to be credited with 25 35 is the amount demanded with allotment that includes premium rupees 10 so capital amount demanded is 25 so 50000 into 25 is credited to share capital account and security premium account is credited with 50000 into 10 so 4 lakhs is the amount for security premium credited to security premium account 
Now, this is the capital that has been received, which is available for redemption of preference shares. So, preference shares could be redeemed either out of the proceeds of fresh issue or by transferring the necessary amount of capital redemption reserve out of the profits otherwise available for dividend. Now, in this case, only the share capital account is credited with these two numbers that is available, that is considered as proceeds of fresh issue against the redemption of preference shares. That's an important point to be remembered by the students. Now, bank account debit equity share allotment account credit, allotment money received. So, this is how shares are allotted and the amount is received. Now, this 50 lakh preference shares are to be written, preference share capital account debit. The preference shares are to be redeemed at a premium. So, preference share capital account debit 50 lakhs. Preference share redemption premium 50 lakhs into 5, 2.5% 5 redemption premium is worked out. Preference share redemption premium account debit to preference share holders account credit. The figures are in thousands, so you, you can understand that 50 to like 50,000 being the amount payable to preference share holders with premium. Preference share holders account debit to bank account. Now, redemption premium is to be provided out of security premium. So, security premium account debit to preference share redemption premium account credit being the redemption premium adjusted against the security premium. Why? Because it is presumed that the preference shares have been issued prior to the commencement of the act. If you are given any information in the sum as if preference shares are issue, were issued after the commencement of the act, then this preference share redemption premium is required to be returned off against profit and loss account if compliance of accounting standard is necessary for the company. Now, what is the amount to be transferred to capital redemption reserve? Preference share capital redeem, 50 lakhs. Share capital account credit at 10 lakh and 12.5. 12, 12 so that is deducted. So minimum amount required to be transferred to capital redemption reserve out of general reserve. So general reserve account debit to capital redemption reserve account credit being the amount transferred to Capital redemption reserve out of general reserve after deducting the proceeds of fresh issue. So this is how the journal entries are recorded. This is how the journal entries are recorded. Now I want to demonstrate the effect of this journal entry on final accounts. And the most important point that you are required to prepare final accounts in a manner Comparative numbers are to be given. So you are required to give the numbers as on 31st of December 2016 as given to in the sum. <clears throat> they have been changed by 31st of 2017. So amended figures are also required to be reported in the balance sheet. Source of funds, share application, reserves and surplus. So 35 lakhs was a preference share capital as on 31st of December 2016 that is given to in the sum. This shares. They were there on 31st of December and the same are there as on 31st of birth. These are the fully paid up shares. These shares are party paid up. They will be reported separately. Security premium 5 lakhs was there. Now 5 lakh premium received in 2 lakh 50,000 return off. So now the premium will be 7 lakh 50,000. So 5 lakhs plus this 2 lakh 50,000, 7 lakh 50,000 will be the security premium as on 31 3 2017. Capital redemption reserve already exists at 20 lakhs. The additional reserve to this 27 lakh 50,000. So 20 plus 27 lakh 50,000. 47 lakh 50,000 is the capital redemption reserve. Then general reserve as on 31st of December 2016 was 50 lakhs. Now transfer to capital redemption reserve 27 lakh 50,000. That is to be deducted. So 50 lakhs minus 27 lakh 50,000. 22 lakh 50,000 is the capital redemption reserve. Over and above, you are required to report this partly paid up equity shares in the share capital title. So, 50,000 equity shares of rupees 100 is 45 per share paid up, 22 lakh 50,000. These are the partly paid up shares are reported. This is how all this information are reported in a comparative balance sheet as you are questioned in the sum. This is also an important reporting that you should understand. So, this is how the effect of all these things are given to you. Cash and bank balance is not taken care of. I think you have followed all these things.
You have followed all these things. Thanks to Allah.